Today we will be looking at the X Plus Rick Exclusive Godzilla Tower from X Plus. Like I just said. The figure's head looks fantastic out the gate. The paint is on point. The sculpting's on point. The material's on point. Everything about this is on point to be expected from X Plus. This figure is dynamite. It's unique. There's the balloon that you attach at the base. The head sculpt is fantastic. The dorsal plates are a softer material. Uh, a closer look at the detailing on the hand, the paint on the claws. Everything looks great there. The tower itself looks phenomenal. X plus, you guys did such a good job with this release. I am so happy I picked this one up. The paint on the dorsal plates look fantastic as well. I love the stylish look. It looks like it hopped off the film. So what you're seeing is what you're getting though at the end of the day. It's a non-posable figure. If you don't like that, you don't like statues, you're not gonna like this, but eh, I like statues. Look at the detailing on the tower, just more of that beautiful sculpt and paint apps that are applied with the different materials, the clear plastics. Oh, looks great. The base looks fantastic as well with the doors nicely sculpted and painted. You get to see Godzilla's feet. There's also a spot where you plug in the balloon on the other side. Look at that foot though. It looks great. The tail also looks really good and it's film accurate. It's it, it just pops off the screen. It's like it came off the screen, landed in your hand. It's excellent. I have to give it Definitely a huge recommend, a 5 out of 5 for the price as well. This is about 12 inches tall. I think in total I paid $104. Your mileage may vary, but this is what you get. I did remove the tag like you saw in the beginning of the video. I hate tags. Get over it. Anyways, 5 out of 5 recommend. Remember to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and go away.